joining Kokomo High School in KACC. Welcome to KATV. I hope you all enjoyed your day off. Welcome to September. And welcome, Trevor, to KATV. Thanks. I'm excited to be part of this year's new crew. I mean, I'm no Cat Thunder. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. Let's just move on to the announcements. Tonight is the call-out meeting for the TechnoCats robotics team. Bring your parents and a laptop to the cafeteria at 5.30. There's a position for everyone. The meeting will end at 6.45. Today is boys wrestling call out meeting. If you want to wrestle this winter, please come to KCC room 1002 at 2.30. Now here are a few more announcements from the Varsity and Diversity Club. Hi, I'm India Swain. I'm a part of, I'm a senior here at Kokomo High School and I'm a part of Varsity Club. Varsity Club is a club for kids who have a varsity letter in athletic sport you're technically automatically a member of Varsity Club and you just have to come to the meetings. We meet the first Wednesday of every month at 7 a.m. in Ms. Hemrick's room by the doors when you come in through the student doors. Like all people who want to train on fair, come meet with some students who really care. It's Diversity Club, Route 221, Thursday at 2.30. Everybody come. I love September. How come? The air is crisp. The leaves are changing colors and the yearbook is finally here. If you ordered a 2019 yearbook, you can start picking up today or tomorrow between 2.30 and 3.15 in the foyer at the yearbook table. Hey Mariana, if you could be anyone in the world, who would you be? Kendall Jenner. <laughs> well, let's see what the people in the halls have to say about this. I'm ready to assume my position in the hall. I will protect all that are weak in the hall. All rules will be enforced in the hall. Okay. For this week in the hall, we'll be asking people if they could be anybody else in the world, who would they be and why? Hope you enjoy. If you could be any other person in the world, who would it be and why? Kyrie, because I got the best handles. If you could be any other person in the world, who would it be and why? Well, you know what? I'm going to start by saying, uh, I like being me, and uh, I will be myself um, because uh, I've got a great family and I've learned a lot through life, and being myself is, is more important than being anybody else. If you could be anybody else in the world, who would you be and why? I'd be The Rock. Why? Because he's strong. If you could be any other person in the world, who would it be and why? Any millionaire, because they got money. If you could be anybody in the world, who would you be and why? I'd be Alvin Kamara because he's a great running back. He almost led the Saints to a Super Bowl. Um, he can run through you, he can jump over you, or he can juke you out. He just needs a great. If you can be any other person in the world, who would it be and why? If I could be any other person in the world, I would choose to be Melissa McCarthy. Reason being is she is absolutely hilarious and she gets to play some amazing roles. If you could be anybody else in the world, who would you be and why? Who would I be? Hold on. Oh yeah, I'd probably be Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because I'm not losing no fight and I got all the money. All the money. <laughs> Thank you for watching this weekend in the halls. I'm Amari. I'm Kimani. And we, and we out. <laughs> You never know what you're going to hear in the halls. You also never know what you're going to hear from the staff, as Ariana discovers. Hashtag students be like. Students be like. When did you tell us we had that assignment? Hashtag students be like. Crazy. Be like, what is my locker combination? I can't remember it. No, you cannot eat in the library. Hashtag students be like. Your new student ID as of Tuesday. As of Tuesday. Hashtag students be like. Why well, always gotta get a tardy pass? Uh, nice. <laughs> Honest. Loving and kind. <laughs> Mine would be students be like, how do I make school more fun? Do you know the answer? Actually, I do. Just watch this week's episode of Tips with me and Jaylee. Hi, I'm Mariana. And I'm Jaylee. And welcome back to Tips. And on this episode, we're going to give you tips on how to be more involved at school. Tip number one, talk to your counselor about what clubs there are, such as environmental club or drama club. Tip number two, 
join a sport you might like. Tip number three, or you could just come to the games and cheer on. This has been tips from Jaylee and Mariana, and we'll see you here next week. Hey Trevor, I have another tip. What's that? If you want to take care of a furry loving friend, adopt Bob. He's our pet of the week. Someone told me it's all happening at the zoo. I do believe it. I do believe it's true. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Kinsley. And we're co-hosts for Pet of the Week. And each week we'll be featuring a pet from the veterinary class of KACC. This week's Pet of the Week is Bob. He's a male guinea pig who is two years old. He loves fresh fruits and veggies and enjoys being outside and loves to cuddle. Bob is our Pet of the Week. Something tells me it's all happening at the zoo. Welcome to the Wildcat National Sports Coverage. I am your host, Dominic Juvenal. Today, we have breaking news that Andrew Luck, quarterback from the Indianapolis Colts, retired. I'm here with my co-host, Cameron, who seems depressed about the news about Andrew Luck retiring. Cameron, do you have anything you want to share or add on? I mean, he retired, you know, had a good 10 years left in the league, and he retired. I don't know why he retired. He had, he had plenty of time left. He retired at the age of 29 and was selected to the Pro Bowl four times. You know, he he was second all the time for most t touchdowns in the first six seasons behind Dan Marino, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, he had a really good career. We bless Andrew Luck and his family. Farewell. Why'd you have to leave, Andrew? Uh, the Houston Texans running back, Lamar Miller, got injured in their third preseason game, and he has been diagnosed with a torn ACL. This will put him out for the rest of the year and will definitely hurt the Texans' already powerful offense. Other news, Ezekiel Elliott, running back for the Dallas Cowboys, has still not earned a contract yet, and he plans to still sit out. This has been what been, has been going on for the past few months now, and it's going to hurt the Cowboys if they don't have their star running back. That's all we have today. I'm your host, Dominic Juvenile, along with my co-host, Cameron Smallwood. Have a great day. Why'd you have to leave, Andrew? Why'd you have to leave? Cameron... Someone go get him. Cut. Cut. Trevor, do you play any sports? No, but I was in band, but I kind of teamed out. Yeah, I was in swimming, but I dipped out of that one. Well, thank you for watching. I'm Trevor. And I'm Mariana. And we'll see you next week on KATV.